Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do drill drums in Logic. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm specifically talking about the UK Brooklyn style drill, which is probably what you're looking for if you're looking for drill drums. We're doing this in Logic today. It's super easy. You just got to understand these key concepts. I'm going to try to move pretty quick. Uh, so you might have to rewind and rewatch a few parts. Create a software instrument. We're going to go into electronic drum kits. Let's just do 808 Flex. I would honestly recommend pulling some drill samples off Splice, but this will get you started. There's a couple other kits that'll work well for this. There's two things that make drill drums notable. It's basically trap sounds, but it's the rhythm that is going to make it drill and the two things are the rhythm of the hi-hats which most people don't understand it's actually the most important part and then the second thing is instead of having the second snare in a bar hit at a normal spot on the four i guess you would say it hits a little bit differently and there's a different ways you can do this um, but we'll go over both of those first let's do the hi-hats um, i've got it set to 143 bpm i think that's pretty good but you can vary that a little bit let's just go ahead and record or you can draw them in if you're doing it like that there's my hi-hat all right so that's the general rhythm it's um, a little bit offset here. I'll go ahead and quantize this and we can listen to this. So looking at it on the grid here, you can see it's on like the, uh, the fourth mark here and then the third mark. So it alternates and that gives it that bounce that drill is known for that people love it so much. It's got a really fast bounce. It doesn't have a groove like trap does. It's a little different. Uh, I don't really love these. I can rearrange these a little bit. Um, I'm going to switch up a couple things here. The, you can kind of do the rhythm a little differently uh, where you have it as the hi-hat starting on the one and not here. You could switch it up every once in a while to do that. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, notice when it gets to here. It's not a good example because this leading up to it, we just shouldn't have that there for now. And I don't like that either. Um, other than that, I like where we're rolling. Let's get a snare in there. And you you probably know how the snare is supposed to go. Okay, so those are the two ways you can do the snare. The first one, you put it back a beat. Instead of on the, the three, it's more on the four. Or you can just get rid of it altogether. There's some other variations, but that are the two main two. Those are the two main two. And it sounds weird because there's no other percussion or 808s, but right here you'd probably have that winding 808 fill where you're uh, sliding 808 notes around or something like that and there's going to be some other percussion as we build out okay so let's get that kick in there it is just like that all right we're going to need some offset hi-hats I don't like this hi-hat. Let me just go in. I'm going to reshape it here. Uh, no, we'll go in here. Just make that. I want to make it not as much of a tail. I'm going to turn it way down. All right, and then also make sure you go into Drum Machine Designer and turn off the exclusive groups here. That's going to cut each of the hi-hats off from each other when you play different ones. You don't really want that in this style of music. All right, so let's play an offset rhythm here. Nope. 
quantize that. I still don't love that hi-hat sound. I'm going to go ahead and pitch that up. Um, in a perfect world, I would want to make this a little bit more succinct, but this way you can follow along because everyone has these drum sounds. I'm going to add a big splash on the second snare. And that's just a clap, but if I go in um, to my mixer here, I'm just going to go ahead and add its own reverb. You could add this onto the uh, like the main reverb for the drums by turning up the bus knob down there, but I just like to add in its own thing. All right, let's go ahead and draw in some notes here. And I'm going to use that secondary hi-hat, but I'm going to turn the velocity way down. those last ones. I wonder if I can go ahead and this is where FL Studio, FL Studio is the other one I use. It's a little bit better than this when you're doing these quick fills, but I want more of those. Go ahead and do one right here. You want a slamming kick drum. This is a good kick for it. The hi-hats are a little iffy, and the snare, you can use a variety of different things. A lot of times a rim shot is used. You can use just a general 808 snare. Um, generally something that knocks a little more than like just a uh, crispy trap snare. And that's it. I'm going to just put some distortion on the whole thing. I'll use a little radiator, which is one of my new favorite distortions. Turn off the noise. You can use any distortion here, though. A lot of distortion. You could put it on different ways when you're actually making the track, but they're going to be distorted drums. I'll turn the wet dry knob down quite a bit. All right, there you go. Some drill drums. Now, is this a perfect, you know, drill drum sound? No, but this is first take off the cuff. I'm going to use this loop, and I'll go ahead and produce out a beat, um, but I'll tag it right here in the video.